Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today we will learn some software related questions. Many companies like 3D PLM, American Excel, Tata Technologies are asking questions on softwares like Katia, UGNX in interview as well as in aptitude test. So here are some questions for you guys on Katia V5 or V4 you can say. So the first question is what is the long form of Katia? Okay. So the long form of Katia is computer aided three dimensional interactive application. The second question is what does V5 R20 mean? So the V5 R20 is means that the V5 is the fifth version and R20 is the 20th release of Katia. The next third third question is what is the kernel of Katia? So the kernel of Katia is C next. The fourth question is what is mean by kernel? So the kernel is the basic indispensable part of an operating system that allocates resources such as low level hardware interfaces and securities. What is the save extension of sketcher file? That is dot cat part. So the sketcher having same extension file as part part is also having dot cat part and assembly is having dot cat dot cat product can we increase the size of plane boundary representation in katia if yes how can we do that so yes definitely we can increase the plane boundary representation in katia and that, to do that we we can increase sorry uh, tools options infra infrastructure and part infrastructure and display in the display tab you can change that size yeah, you can increase that size of plane the next question is is it possible to directly enter in the sketcher workbench no it is not possible to enter in the sketcher workbench directly we have to go for any workbench and there and from there we can enter the sketcher workbench the next question is which is the tool used to exit from sketcher workbench to part design workbench so that is ex exit sketcher so from that exit sketcher toolbar you can exit the sketcher workbench the next question is what is the use of output feature in katia so generally all the construction elements like dotted lines axes we cannot see in the part design or environments other than sketcher that is in 3d we cannot see that dotted lines so sometimes it is necessary to see that dotted lines in 3d so basically uh, we use this for uh, parting line making parting lines to show these elements in such environments we use the output feature command and the next question is what is the use of construction elements in katia the construction elements are assisting in sketching the required profile in sketcher workbench we can convert the unwanted profiles into a construction elements so that we can add a material in a part design the next question is what are the default units of lmt that is length mass and time so that are the millimeter kilogram and second mm kg second the next question is what is sketch tools in sketcher workbench and explain the importance of it basically the sketch tools in sketcher workbench are the commands which find very useful in creating sketches the sketch tools are namely geometric and dimensional constraint construction elements or standard elements and a grid option they play a very important role in sketching whenever we want to constrain a sketch we use these options and if we want to convert any element into construction element once again this option come into picture and the next question is what is the use of show hide option in katia so first we will see the use of show command so it enables us to see all the components presently open in the graphics window and the hide option it enables us we can hide desired elements from the view for time being 
so these are the uses of show and hide so the next question is what is the use of cut part by a sketch plane so this task shows how to make some edges visible that is for hided edges you can see that edges here with with the cut part by sketch plane in other words we are going to simplify the sketch by sketch plane by hiding the portion of material that is not needed for sketching the next question is can we hide specification tree in katia yes definitely we can hide that specification in tree in katia with the help of f3 button but the condition is that the option in the tools command should be checked to allow this okay the next question is does katia v5 work on unix platform yes definitely it works on unix platform as well what do you mean by iso constraints so here is if all the degree of freedom of geometry have been takes up by a con co consistent combination of dimension and fixed geometry that the geometry is said to be iso constraint that, that is all the degree of freedom of the sketcher are locked if the degree of freedom are uh, remaining then it is under constraint and if the dimensions are exceeding the degree of freedom then the sketch become over constraint the geometry that still has some degree of freedom is said to be under constraint the next question is what are the color codes constraint elements color codes of constraint elements sorry so the color codes for the constraint elements are the for iso constraint the sketch becomes green for under constraint the sketch become white and for over constraint the sketch becomes magenta we can change these colors too okay so the next question is what is the use of animated constraint command so this ta this task shows how constraint sketch elements reacts when we decide to vary one constraint so we can animate the constraint the next question is how many dimensions are required to constrain the ellipse so that there are three dimensions required first one is the major axis second one is the minor axis and the third one is the distance from the origin we want to constrain a ellipse the next question is what are different conic se conic sections the conic sections are first one is the ellipse second one is the hyperbola and third one is the parabola so there are three conic sections available in katia the next question is what are the rho values for parabola ellipse and hyperbola so the parabola having the rho values that is 0.5 0.5 and for ellipse it is lies between 0 and 0.5 and for hyperbola it is lies between 0.5 to 1 the next question is what is nubs the nubs are basically the types of curves the next question is how do you measure arc length so we can measure this with the help of measure toolbar so we can measure arc length by using a measure item command okay some, some sometimes we need to customize the option for arc length if it is not checked earlier using a customization in measure item command the next question is how many types of coordinate systems are there in katia v5 so there are total three coordinate system first one is the cartesian coordinate system second one is the polar coordinate system and the third one is the spherical coordinate system the next question is what are the project 3d shell out edges so the project 3d shell out edges in sketcher will show how to create shell out edges to be used in as in as geometry or reference elements and basically this is for cylindrical faces for the rectangular faces we are directly taking the project 3d elements in sketcher The next question is, what is the use of sketch analysis? So the use of sketch analysis that is to to check whether the sketch is fully closed or not, so that the sketch can be used or not, so that the sketch can be used for further operations, that is addition of material in part design. So the next question is, where do we use the axis? The new axis is used in creating a shaft feature in Katia, that is for a revolve revolve features like shafts. And the next question is can we redefine the sketches yes definitely we can redefine the sketches the next question is what is the meaning of true dimension the true dimension is the dimension desired after machining in other words 
it is the value that should be attained after the machining so this is the two dimension so thank you for watching please subscribe my channel